Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Renzo. Today I'm gonna paint a portrait with oil paints. Okay, the colors I'm going to use are titanium white, uh, yellow chrome. Uh, this is chrome yellow hue to be exact. Camion red hue, permanent Addison Greenson, cover blue, and ivory black. Okay, the brushes I'm gonna use are synthetic brushes. And let's start by making a quick sketch. Okay, I'm gonna mix yellow, a little bit of Addison Greenson, a little bit of blue. I'm going to draw with this color. Let's see. Let me see, let's see my limits first. Okay, I have this space up here. Okay, always we gotta see the overall shape. It's gonna be for the face, the space for the face. Now, the central light for the face, the line for the eyes, eyebrows, nose, and chin. Okay. Mix some more paint. From yellow hue, a lizard and crimson, and cover blue. Okay. Let's see, let's look for the position of the eyes. Okay, I have here the line for the eyebrows, for the eyes, and the nose. That's gonna be the space for one eye, from the brow to the bottom of the eye. In here the space for the other other eye. Okay. Now let's say here's the tree duck. I trace a line. I'm gonna find the wind of the nose. Now the mouth. We're going to prepare more paint. Okay, hello, Michael. Hello, Maggie. Hello, Monique. Hello, Eve. Hello, Brian. Our dish. Okay. okay, let's continue drawing. Okay, first I'm going to draw and I'm going to paint in first the darker darker value and when I get this almost ready I'm gonna move to the mid mid tone and then to the lights. Okay. Let me see. We gotta double check the distance from here and here. I always use my brush. 
see if everything is okay. Okay, if I trace a, a line from the tear duct, let's say here's the tear duct. Down, it's gonna hit here, the corner of the mouth, around here. Okay. Now I'm squinting my eyes and trying to keep the proportions from the brows to the nose and to the bottom of the chin. Okay, the same measure from here here. That helps me to just keep the structure here. If I lost this measure, maybe uh, the mistake is gonna be maybe this is gonna be too big, maybe the, the nose is gonna be too long. Okay. And this and this that helps me to see the relationship of the mouth with the eyes and the nose. Okay. I'm putting camion red, black, and yellow. Okay, let's continue drawing. Okay, I see, I mean so clearly that where, where are the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. Now obviously, um, starting just, let's say if I were using a, a pencil, that would be a really thick pencil to make really thick lines, because I'm not so sure exactly if I have to move the eye to the right, to the left, up, or down okay. and uh, uh, I need uh, space I need some room to feel okay about moving the fissures a little bit darker okay again have the eyes here I'm trying to be a more precise with the more precise with the eyes always try to see this the corner of the eye to the nose okay this triangle is really important Use your brush to help you to see this angle. Stepping back. Okay, now we have this. Let me see. For the ear, let me see the distance. I'm, I'm squinting down my eyes and trying to see just the shape of the light, the light area. Now for the ear, I have to see, okay, so around here, the base of the ear is kind of on the top of the lip, okay, here, okay, now let's see this angle, Uh, 
uh, let's move this mixture here, okay? Because I prefer always to mix uh, lighter colors up the palette. The darker colors here down the palette. Okay, let's continue with the darker colors. Again, I'm just mixing orange, yellow, red, and black. I will get a brownish color. Stepping back, let me see. Always squinting down my eyes, I need to see the shape of the shadow. So, put the dark, dark. Okay. Okay. You trace a line from the true duck to the wing of the nose. You're gonna see this kind of a parallel, parallel line to parallel to this to the nose line. Okay. Stepping back again, I can I think maybe this distance is too high. Maybe I should reduce this. That means move the mouth a little bit up. Okay, that means that maybe I should move the, no the nose a little bit up too. Okay, I think it's okay. I'm gonna pick up another brush and let's mix the same. An orange. We use blue or black to knock down this orange. A little bit of white. If you have too much yellow and you add blue, maybe you're gonna see that kind of greenish color. That means that you have to add red or white. Values okay. I think it should be darker. Means more yellow, more sorry, more red, more yellow. Why not black? Okay, I think. This color is too dark for this area, but that's okay. I'm planning just to, I mean, this is the, let's say this is the first layer. I'm gonna add more paint, and then there's gonna be something about this. Is, you know, this is about adjusting values, drawing, and color during the process, okay? Okay, hello, Manuel, hello, Joyce. Hello Rosario, hello Miriam, hello Nikki. Okay, hello uh, Rob from Russia. Sorry, I don't know how to say your name.
Okay, I'm not using any medium, just pure paint. Kind of erasing this line that I did here in this mark because I don't know if it's going to be more to the left or more to the right. I prefer to see something blur like this and squint down my eyes and see the general shape. Okay, I think it's okay. One thing I try to be, I try to be very, very accurate with this angle and the angle for the eyes, but it's kind of impossible to be so accurate about this. If your angle of the eyes it goes like this, you gotta move this angle too. Okay. Uh, I mean, the, uh, maybe the whole face is, is gonna go tilted to the left or to the right, but you gotta keep working this angle and this angle. Because if you have this angle, like exactly like in the in the picture, in the photo, and you have moved this angle, that's how the things are starting to get off. Okay. Okay. More orange. Try to keep it simple always. I mean, there is no reason to add a lot of colors and complicate yourself with mixture. Trying to to uh, to, f uh, to deal with colors, to deal with drawing, with everything. Okay, you gotta kind of relax uh, uh, in something. I mean, you gotta try to e easy things for you in some aspect of the painting. Uh, I mean, usually color is best. I mean, because drawing, we gotta pay attention always to drawing. Drawing is we cannot relax about drawing. Drawing is during the whole process. We, we gotta be checking checking angles checking measurements, all of that. And for me, you know that I relax about color. That's why I just keep always a simple palette, a limited palette. Yeah, because in this way you don't have too many options. I'm not doubting about picking up maybe another red or uh, another yellow I don't have more options that makes this easier and faster we are mixing again an orange okay, let me clean this Now I'm going with a lighter value. I'm going like a value scale, lighter, lighter. Add a little bit of blue. If you don't like to add black, you, if maybe if you feel that black is, is killing your, your colors too much, I uh, work with blue, okay? And if you're able to control color, you add black, because I mean, it's about just controlling the colors. Uh, if we don't know, how to control the colors and we start working with black maybe we, we can end up with a ma muddy uh, painting and every time that we add black we have to add white that's gonna be muddy and that's gonna be a uh, muddy painting I mean all the colors are gonna be opaque and milky colors at the same time Okay, these brush strokes are for just, uh, let's say, trying to get uh, close to a skin color. I see uh, the color and I think it's maybe too orangey. Mm. Yeah, remember, I gotta think about the reddish areas on the face and if the color in general is too orangey, when I add the reddish areas, everything is gonna go with more color. 
and I don't want that. I'm gonna grade down this color a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna use hot black. If you're mixing and you're using black, and maybe something like this happened to you that you add too much black. Okay, you're gonna kill the color, you have to add more yellow, more red again. Okay, this color is better. Mm, a little bit more of black. I'm squinting down my eyes. I'm checking the ball not right now the drawing. Uh, something is wrong with the nose okay I'm taking notes I'm not gonna fix something that I don't know where to fix it okay uh, something is wrong I mean but something is wrong here in the nose but the distance from here and here I think that's okay okay what is wrong maybe is the, the this wind is a little bit down okay or there is more shadow here okay but it's okay we don't need to jump and fix every mistake we see we have to continue working everything okay at the beginning I mean we don't need to fix anything because everything is just a mess it's we paint and we fix little by little okay i think this color is okay i'm gonna mix more paint chrome yellow hue cadmium red hue black or blue you prefer It's too bright. Okay, that's better. As you can see here, this is orangey. As you can see how grayish is this color. Thank you, Nikki. Hello, Neon. Hello, Christine. Okay, stepping back. have to step back a lot we have to see the whole painting always okay okay now let's mix a lighter color okay I'm gonna use another brush okay I'm gonna keep this for this I have one two brushes okay I'm gonna use another one let me pick up this one Ok, 
Okay, I think this is better. Okay, remember that all the lights are not the same. I mean, all, uh, there is some lights that are brighter. And we have to think always about that. Right now, the beginning is okay if you put this color here, here, and here. That's okay. But at some point, we have to make a difference because this is not as bright as this area. Okay. The beginning is, is different. Maybe that this kind of confuse if you're watching somebody paint and you think that that's okay at the same, but uh, that's the, just the beginning. And for me, if I don't explain this, maybe you're gonna think they're gonna do the same during the whole process. No, I mean, that's just the beginning. And then later I'm gonna change, I'm gonna add more light here, or I'm gonna make this darker. Okay, I mean, usually, I'm gonna make this uh, lighter. Okay, and remember always the highlights are here in the forehead, here in the chin, and of course in the, no the nose. Okay, the brightest uh, light is almost on, 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 always on the nose. In this case, if you see the image, you see it has a highlight here yeah mm. okay I'm add a little bit of this color here Let me see this area. Okay, I think I need to add more shadow here. I'm mixing a darker color. Okay, I think this works. Okay, now let's add more color to the face. I have the shadow, and the lights, the proportion, the mouth. I'm thinking right now it should be a little bit up. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, what else? What else? What else? I gotta, I'm gonna put some light here yeah that's better okay now the reddish areas of the face I add red a little bit of yellow Let's see. 
okay the nose the cheek the chin this is something that you have to learn by memory you don't need to see the image to do this to apply these colors okay and uh, to practice this is at, at least what you gotta paint one portrait uh, from a black and white image is the, in this way you can practice this there is some a little bit of or uh, reddish color here not too much a little bit here obviously it's more reddish here and more reddish on the nose now I will have to control this okay it's not like it's gonna be so red I mean you have to adjust these colors Now the brush. You can have two brushes, one for blending the light areas and the other one for the darker areas. Or just keeping clean out cleaning out your brush. Or you can finish first uh, blending one area, the dark area, and then the light area. Clean on my brush, use with paper towel. Draw a little bit, uh, let's make more details. Let's 
brush number zero and let's make more details Draw the eye. Not too much paint. Okay, let's see if we can make more details now. Another brush. This is double zero. This is number zero. This is double zero. You see that this is more. If you have uh, if you start the painting with, with the more accurate drawing where you can spend more time in one uh, every area of the face the eyes the nose and the mouth uh, for me I, I just go a little bit faster I work a little bit in this eye then this the other eye then I go back to this one. nose okay I didn't finish the eyes and adding more red this dark because I'm, I'm, work, I'm going to work on the nose okay let's see okay we're we always checking out this triangle here okay from the tear duct to the corner of the mouth all of that okay Okay, I worked a little bit here, just a little bit, now I'm going to move to the mouth. Down, down my eyes again. Okay, I see something. This is more darker here. Okay, uh, how did I, I notice this? Because uh, I'm squinting my eyes and 
every time that I squint my eyes, I see shadows, little shadows. I squint my eyes right now, I see dark this. Really dark here. Dark here. Dark here, and I didn't see this dark. And I said, oh my god, I need this dark. Okay. It's like I squint my eyes just to do that. I mean, it's not for that, but let's say that I, I squinted my eyes to do that. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's go back with this color because I need to make this area a little bit lighter. This is okay. Now, that's okay. I need to work on the hair, the darks, and I need to add more light. Okay, you notice now, I mean, it's not more precise, it's, not, it's, it's just a little bit, uh, let's say, uh, more refined than before, but there is no detail on the eye. Okay, you don't see the iris, you don't see the pupil, you, you see something dark here. And here, yes, I added the uh, the edge here, or the, the iris, it's the same here. You don't see the uh, the nostril, okay? Uh, I mean, that's 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 what I want. It's just uh, that gives me the, like I said, the space for movement, because I gotta move the eye maybe to the left, right, up or down, okay? Okay, let's work on the hair. Let me see here. This is really bright. Okay, I'm mixing yellow and white. Let me put this. I just need to establish the values everywhere. a little bit of this right here too okay okay and then okay yes I will try to put it here I need to do, I need to make the background a little bit darker. I'm gonna use a little bit of medium. I always use linseed oil and uh, turpentine or mineral spirit, half and half, used by eye. If I have this darker, uh, I have more control about this value. I see how intense it really is. Ok, 
Okay. Well, I'm stepping back just one minute. I need to see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, I I like this color. I love the color of the skin, but I know that the, the image is to br is, is brighter, has more light. Uh, now I have to decide if I if I just keep what I like or okay. Let me let me think. I want add more light. Okay. Let's add more lights. Mm. Okay, let me read the comments. Hello, where are you? Hello, Masha, Ma, 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 Dash, T. Hello, Eleni. Thank you. Hello, Mary. Nikki, you need to buy small blending brushes. Yeah, we have to. We need to have always a lot of brushes. Okay, let's see. I'll make this darker. I want to see this value. I'm gonna make it this a little, a little bit darker. Just a little bit. Just I need to create the contrast here in this area to see how bright it's gonna be this this light. Okay. I mean, if I make it more darker, this is gonna be brighter every time because you add more contrast. You, I mean, in order to see light, you need shadow. If you want to make something brighter, you need to make around that darker. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's let's make more darks because I, I still have. Uh, I mean, here too and. Okay, I can change maybe the color. Okay, I'm gonna do it just right like now exactly the same. Just, I'm gonna copy just from the image this dark here and a little uh, light here because that's perfect. And that's what we usually do when we paint. You know, uh, in the portrait when one side is has a lot of shadow, usually the background is a little bit a little lighter, a little bit lighter, and when the other side is lighter, the background darker it's not like always but just that's what usually what in order to create contrast that way that's something that we can do but if we make this darker that mean it's like she's fading in the dark you gotta choose I mean what to what you want
let's work on the freeze. I have just white and yellow. You know that that's not gonna stay as the the, with the brightness because uh, I mean the painting is wet. As if I continue doing this, you see how I start losing that brightness. It's very mixed with this color. here so I'm losing the color Right and like I said, I don't want to keep this light here a little, just a little bit, okay? But you gotta be sure that don't add the same lights all over the face. One way to help you to remember this is think about focal point I mean the focal point on the portrait is, most of the time are the eyes uh, but try to trick yourself to think about the focal point and the focal point is always has more contrast more light okay I need another brush for blending. Just give me a second. bright enough okay let me see I can make it as bright as the image if I want and you see that this it's almost as bright as the, as the image mm, okay See, let me think. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this here.
Okay, let's make more details. I'll go back to my brushes to make uh, details. Let's see. Okay, again. Now I go again on, on the eyes. Mixing just black, red, and yellow. Okay, let's see. Up the other brush. Not too much paint. This is just really dark here. Work on the other eye. Add more black and that is our case. I'm gonna make this darker. Let me see, it's dark enough. Make it even darker. Okay, let's add pure black here. Pick up more black and let me go really dark here.
not a little bit of camion red more a little bit of a lizard in crimson okay. now let's paint the nostril Okay, let me see my nose. The nose I'm doing is, I think, is the width is not okay. okay. That's one thing to fix. The eyes I think are okay. I think it's the. I should make the eyes a little bigger. Mm, let me think. Let me think. Okay. Let's continue. No, the eyes bigger nose smaller brows darker okay just work on the mouth Oh, you should be right here. My mistake. Here, I'm gonna add in yellow and black. I'm gonna add on top of this. The mouth is reddish. You cannot put red around the mouth. Uh, I mean, it's, it's like uh, I'm doing that because obviously, if this color is a greenish or grayish. Uh, I create contrast with the red of the mouth okay but this is reddish and this is red that means less contrast and I just want this to when we see this that we see a really a warm and intense red okay that's a simple rule of contrast how do you make things look uh, if you want to make something you want some, something that you paint something red and you want that look even reddish more stronger more saturated you so uh, you paint around green and that's gonna create contrast okay And when I'm painting this, I think about that. And that's why I'm mixing here a little bit of black and yellow, that's for green, and add this grayish here. Okay, obviously it doesn't look like green, green. it looks like a dark, just brownish color. Okay. And it's a uh, but one thing, one one thing is what we think that we are adding. Those little things add something to the painting. Okay. Even maybe it's just one zero point zero zero one percent, but it's something. I 
okay, I just uh, uh, step in, uh, step in, uh, step in back a little bit. Now I kind of point out my mistakes. Yes, about the, the eyes. Uh, I'm not gonna correct anything yet because I mean uh, we have to doubt sometimes about ourselves. I always, I mean, this is a process of retouching and retouching and retouching, and don't feel the urge of correct anything as soon as you see it. Okay. I mean, if there's a major mistake, a major mistake like something really off, then you gotta jump on it and correct it. Okay, but if you're doubting a lot, that's okay. That's okay because that's the process. Okay. Because this is back and forth. If you see any painter, any, any painter with... I don't think you're gonna find any painter that is gonna, is gonna tell that uh, it's so precise from the beginning. No, this is a process. Okay. It, we all have doubts during the process. That's normal. Okay. One thing that we gotta follow some theory, color theory rules. We have to know about that perspective and apply always that to the process, okay? Okay, I think I'm gonna add this really black, black here. Uh, I sometimes I don't like to go to that really crispy black, but in this case, I think that this dark, dark add a lot to the to the to the image to the picture to the painting if i don't paint this uh i think i don't see the i don't know it's like it's more dramatic okay okay adding black I'm gonna add a little bit of alizarin crimson. Okay, black, a little bit of yellow. Okay, you gotta be changing the color. It's not just about one color. Because anyway, this is black, black, but anyway, here is more reddish, okay? It's gonna be, because what? Because of the cheek. I'm not gonna change that. I mean, and here is gonna be more grayish. Okay, even that is black, black. I'm gonna make a that little change. No, if I go with just pure, pure black, I mean that's that's different. I mean that's gonna be just really black. <laughs> but anyway, we have to always uh, keep uh, some red here. Keep some red here, some greenish in on the greenish, grayish colors of other areas. It's not just one color. comments okay 
you're speaking about a movie here? Okay. I cannot follow the conversation. Hello, Stanley. back and squinting my eyes okay I don't feel the blacks really black black I don't know why let me move move my my settings here in my camera maybe it's that not so sure I think that's okay okay let's continue painting to add more lights this is this has just a uh, white and chrome yellow but already has a little bit of this color here these colors because uh, I use the same brush okay let me see let me think okay okay I'm gonna change my mind I mean if I want this really be bright in yellowish I cannot have this same yellowish here I'm gonna just pure pure white to make this lighter but opaque okay that, when you add just pure white you light up and oh, what's happened with my camera and cool the color a little bit Take out this. I'm gonna clean out my brush. I don't want any yellow here. Okay, on a pure white. different you see a difference between this and this of course here I'm gonna keep some yellow because I want this to I'm gonna feel the light here I still feel some yellow up here I'm gonna just kill down the yellow and add a little bit of black with white Somebody knows how to keep my, the camera without doing this. Like it's kind of the camera kind of uh, unfocus every time that I put my hand. Hmm.
and just adding pure white. The mouth is kind of mm, the mouth is not okay. Little by little, just moving the edge. Okay, I think that's better. Yeah. Okay. I need more light here. If you want to, if you want to support my channel, I have a Patreon account where we paint every Saturday. Okay, just for four dollars a month, we paint every Saturday. Uh, we're painting right now, still life. Sometimes a portrait, still life, or anything. Yeah. It's an hour, just an hour, usually an hour, an hour, an hour and a half. With this brush for blending, I'm going to add more light here. Just adding pure white. I want to keep a difference between this light the face and the light here on the hair ok 
Okay. <clears throat> okay, there is something that's not okay here. Okay, there is something, uh, it's too pointy, it has to be more round. The mouth has to be up, the lip. Yeah, maybe that's the, the whole angle of the face, maybe. It's tilted, <coughs> different. I don't know. I'm well, pretty sure it is. I mean, there's no way to be perfect about the, the tilted of the faces. is more orangey mm -hmm. this lip has to be up 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 you get lost here in the darkness black with a little crimson and make this darker okay now let's fix let's fix here this more curve mm -hmm. <coughs> 
<coughs> Sorry. That's better. Yeah, that's better. Just one minute, one minute, guys. Vas a salir? Verían. Vas a salir? Okay. That was my son. He's taking the dog for a walk. You know, as a father, I'm gonna ask, I have to ask, where are you going? What are you doing? Don't come back late. Go dark, dark here. Pure black. And adding just pure, pure black. I like it, I like it. the nose is off and the chin needs to be sharper and cut higher to the ear the right cheek needs a sharper angle okay okay I'm gonna check out that wolf okay. it is blurry yes yeah, my camera is just I can control that it looks like a, it's all automatic you know I put my hand and focus my hand and when I move you see how it gets I don't know how to fix that. I try it, and I, I, can, I just can't find a way to, to fix that. Nikki saying sounds like your wife and kids are remodel remodeling your home. No, that's my neighbor. <laughs> that's my neighbor that is working for a few days on your home, on on his home. Sorry, on his home. He's working there and. Today is quiet, some days is really, really loud. Yeah, really, really loud. Okay. By the way, by the way, I don't know if I said it before, but I hate my neighbors. <laughs> Both of them. Because I have uh, uh, the the, fam my, the family to my right is kind of all of them are I, uh, they are just there is too much too much happiness on their home. I cannot resist that that amount of happiness. <laughs> and the neighbors to my left. Uh, they put sometimes loud music. 
the weekends. Today that's gonna be maybe really late. Gonna be a loud music. Sometimes they, they throw parties and even now that we cannot have any reunion, any any gathering, they still that some parties, parties, parties. I'm just adding pure black. And I have another neighbor that's, uh, that's the quiet one. I mean, she's so quiet. Sometimes, sometimes she called, she calls me some days and she's like, oh my God, Renzo, I mean, from your house is, is I feel like a smell, like it's something like it's kind of, kind of, uh, it's going on the air. I mean, be careful with that. I mean, it's kind of, it's middle like toxic. And that's when I, uh, when I varnish the paintings, all the smell go on the air and get into her house. Yeah, I love this painting. I love it. I don't care if you don't love it. I love it. is Friday Friday I have a friend that he's a painter too I mean that he used to call me Fridays Saturdays that's, that's the only friend I, I I have from the School of Art you know since I got ma married and working as a painter I don't have too much friends that's the, that's the only one that some, some, sometimes he called he calls me to drink some beers, even now, the, in the middle of the pandemic, he called me and said, hey man, let's go to drink some beers. I said, what? I mean, you wanna die? And he's like, no, I already got the COVID, and I'm okay. Oh, you're okay, but I'm not, I mean. <laughs> okay, let me, uh, Yes, Miriam, we have lost track of the time, man. Friday night. <laughs> then it's asking, this is a girl or a travesty? <laughs> okay. Dennis, Dennis. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I mean in, the, in, the, in the photo is a girl. My painting, maybe... Not a, it's not a girl, yes, yet. I'm working on it, okay? <laughs> okay. Let's put more black here. I mean, black with red, a little bit of yellow.
And speaking about my neighbor, he's constant, constantly uh, fixing his house because what happened? He rents some rooms, and from time to time, he's fixing the rooms again and again and again. It's like a, just rooms, like let's say a small apartment, but they are not apartments, just a room for uh, just because. I mean, uh, people is kind of uh, stay there like a month, two months, three months, and they moved, and that happens all the time because I mean, I'm here in the kind of in the downtown. It's not kind of the down downtown, but I, I just by foot by walking, I'm just 20 minutes to the uh, maybe 30 minutes to the to downtown. That means there are a lot of movement here, a lot of cars, a lot of noise. And a lot of people just are uh, moving from here to another, another place all the time. All, all the time you see some uh, trucks uh, outside of some houses around here you're moving their things like they are moving to another another place or new people coming here, new people moving out. It's always the same. of the face. Okay, somebody is asking me, Dennis, your paint, your painting is lacking is okay, everything good, but I don't know this person. No, I don't know, I don't know uh, this person either. I mean, I just found the image in, in Pinterest. I, I just, I loved the image when I, when I, when I saw it, and that's it. There's Maggie, hello Maggie. Blender Pretender is asking me to use you use anything to rest your hand. Yeah, I mean, I usually use my just my pinky or sometimes on, right now I'm on the air. I usually I'm on just like that on the on the air and just doing this. When I get tired, I just hold my hand with my other hand.
Jammu, White and Yellow. Now my hand is on the air. I'm just controlling. Okay, what's that? Mm -hmm. Now again, I'm keeping my hand on the air. I didn't realize about that, you made me think about this. I love these brush strokes, but I'm gonna blend it, I mean my intention for this painting is just to be soft. Paint the ear. I love this reflected light and add more yellow to the light. Okay. Now just here is too sh I mean I, I it's too sharp. I mean I need to blend the transition between this light to this dark. Okay, and I need to add more light here. See, it looks like it has more color, has more saturation. This area, Okay, I'm gonna blend here. To do these areas, I just rest my hand on the, my pink here. And adding a little bit of yellow to this black to know that I want this to be kind of a greenish color, grayish, greenish color. I don't want this to be reddish. Okay. 
Okay, I need to light up the chain. It's too dark. All this area. I need to light up all this area. Okay. Still need to add more light here. I mean, it's not like I'm uh, making this lighter. Is uh, I need to make this light grow because it was too dark here. Okay, I'm keeping and doing this. Let's see, uh, there's a light here with just white because, like I said, I want to make a difference between this yellowish, yellowish, and the lights inside the face, uh, more cooler lights, opaque lights. I would like just to add a lot of paint right now to the face to make a lot, a lot of paint. I think in this particular portrait, I would love to add a lot of te texture. But uh, obviously, I, I, I didn't do it because uh, I started this with something in mind, and I'm gonna change that. I'm just saying that sharing my thoughts it's more light here the highlights on the eyes there's no highlight on this eye I think it's because of the eyelashes but let's put it there okay
I'm adding a lot of red for the shadows on the ear. Well, I'm, I'm adding this because well, first uh, there is a there is a lot of red on the ears, and second, I want to create some transparency. I don't see this reddish color on the photo, but anyway, I think it's going to be better here, the painting. and add a little bit of medium and let's make some hairs here I need a really small, small brush for blending some small areas and add more red here and yellow kind of an orangey color you know that this color is, works perfectly here it creates some transparency on the nose I just control it, I mean, I don't want to end up with a really red nose. Okay, I think that's okay. I think I darken this area too much, I'm gonna light up this here. Cleaning out this brush. I'm going to use it for blending here. Okay. Has more red here. So sorry about my camera. It kind of, you see that it lost its, it lost, uh, get unfocused yes uh, i don't know how to control that i try it uh i will i, will, I, I don't know I, I have to contact or look for somebody that knows about these things because that bothers me a lot i'm pretty sure that bothers you a lot too because every time that the camera i'm painting i put my hand and just uh I, know, I have seen another painters that they paint and they come, they put the, their hand, their head, their face, and nothing changes. It's like the camera just focus on one uh, scene, let's say, and then it doesn't move. In my case, so sorry, I'm not an expert on these things. 
I thought it was. I thought I was. But not. Mm -hmm. What else? I still see more light here. I'm gonna add just little by little, okay? Remember that we don't want the same brightness here, here, and here, everywhere. That means that we gotta try to control this. And now I realize that I can add more light to here, just pure white. Red up here. I have lost some of the reddish color here, orange in this case. I added this back with the brush and this I'm using for blending. I need a little bit of light here. Okay, I need to make the background a little bit darker, just like the in the photo. Okay, where's my brush? Lost this edge.
Okay. Now read the comments. Do you, uh, Blender, do you worry about paint bleed when layering colors and not fully blending them? Uh, okay, let me check out this word that I don't know what, what, what it means. Okay, let me, let me bleed. What's bleed? Oh, Cleo, Cleopatra, thank you so much. I got, I got a super shot. Thank you so much. I didn't see it. I gotta check out this. Cle Cleopatra Bardaki. Thank you. Oh, Joyce, I look to buy this painting if it is available. Yes, of course, Joyce. Thank you so much. Oh, I gotta read. Sorry that I've been painting. I haven't. I have. I haven't read the comments. Oh, Miko is telling me set off out of focus. Oh, set off out of focus. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Thank you. The only thing I need to know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, somebody speaking about my camera. Yeah, it's not but this this is a a, a cam recorded camera. This is a Sony camera. This is a nice camera. I mean, this is really good. I mean, I, I was using a uh, uh, 4K that it wasn't K 4K. I bought it. It was a Logitech 4K webcam, and and uh, this one that I'm using right now, this cam recorded, is more. I mean, I feel I feel that it's more uh, sharp. I mean. Uh, but I always have this problem that I I, I gotta set up the uh, set set off yes turn off the autofocus that one that's what I just going going to try to to do that and the camera is at the same time is kind of trying to keep uh, finding the balance between the colors I don't know how to. Oh, I was I, I got a question about paint bleed. Just give me a second, okay? My vocabulary is not that extends bleed bleed. Bleed. Okay, I got it. I got it now. Blender Pretender. Yes, I think it's about practice. You, yeah, because the, what you're telling about this paint bleed when layering colors and not fully blending them, it's about control. It's it's about uh, maybe not over blend because when you blend, we can we, we lost some contrast. When we blend, we always lost the darkness and the lightest. The lightest light. We kill them a little bit. If we blend more, we kill them more. Okay, that's why uh, at the end, after blending, we uh, so many painters what they do, they used to do this, like leave like a brush stroke like that without touching it, and that means that's gonna be fully bright. Okay, the light is gonna be stronger there. If I go I blend again. I soften in everything again but that's just uh, I mean if you're not getting this right I mean you will get there anyway I mean you will get there because this is just about practice 
it's just about practice. The more you do it, this thing about blending, the better you get. That's it. I mean, there's no secret. There is nothing. It's just about uh, the pressure on the brush. Yes, you you gonna learn that we change the pressure on the brush. We sometimes we when we blend, we go on the air. Sometimes we press more. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna continue re reading the comments. Uh, the left eyebrow is ginger on the bottom. Okay, yes, yes, thank you. I'm going to correct that. Thank you, Joyce. If he's telling me, ask your son. Yeah, I was thinking about that. <laughs> Hello, Murfat. Oh, cartoon is telling me nice painting. What about the shadow on the cheek and the jawline correction? I want to check out on that. Okay, okay, blender. Just painting. Okay, uh, okay. Okay, I ha maybe that could happen. Yes. And okay, I try to establish from the beginning the difference between light and shadows, and that's gonna prevent from that to happen. I mean, I'm pretty sure if I add, let's say, this light on top of this black, uh, when it gets dry, maybe in the end, maybe in a, in a year, in a year or more, uh, this light is gonna get darker because it's gonna, I mean, the the dark beneath is uh, it's gonna show through a little bit and that, li that little bit is gonna make this light a little bit darker but since uh, I don't do it that I mean it has light here I just adding more light more light more light pretty sure that's not gonna happen I hope that doesn't happen now I know. Okay, let's continue painting. this a little bit darker okay and I'm gonna make the brows a little more reddish uh, no I have I have here for example, this shadow is darker, but I think this value here that is not that dark in the image add some transparency to this area. Mm. Okay. But I'm not saying that I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm just thinking out loud about that. I mean, I see the painting. And I feel some transparency here. I need to work, I mean, more on the ear. But if I add that shadow, oh my god, let the camera help change this. Let me change something. I don't know if I can fix it here.
I'm trying just to adjust this. It's okay, I don't want to be able to do it. I need to blend here to make rip this really soft. I don't add in too much paint because I mean if I add a really really thick paint there it could be too yellowish. I prefer to do something like this and I can come back here in a minute and add more yellow and see how it's working.
Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm gonna erase this highlight on the eye because you know. I mean, it kind of changed this the expression. This um, light here. Okay, a lot of red, dark red for this area here to make the tear duck. Yes, I'm gonna leave it just. I'm gonna leave this area just like this. I'm not maybe just on hairs, but I'm not gonna make it darker. I think that add, like I said, some transparency to this area of the face. Okay, I still feel that something is not okay here. Mm. Mm. Maybe I need more shadow. I need to make this dark, this darker. You want to check out the comments? Okay. Okay. Thank you, Frank Hoyes. Hey, you wake up to see the video. Life is dreaming. Will you make up her outfit darker? Yeah, it's just black. Just black. Thank you, Mervat. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm reading the comments. Uh, okay. Uh, 
Do you clean any of your brushes with thinner while you are painting or do you stay away from it? No, no, just uh, I use a lot of brushes in this way I, I, I don't clean them that much every time that I just, I just use paper towel I do this uh, just that okay. I mean uh, that's that's because of the live streaming yes I mean I don't have too much time to spend cleaning out the brushes but uh, let's say if I'm painting just here by myself uh, sometimes I use just a couple of brushes it's like it's uh, it's better if you if we use if you use more brushes because in this way we don't pollute any color with other color but sometimes we get bored sometimes I get bored of uh, my own rules about using a lot of brushes and I paint just with one, one brush and and I keep in cleaning cleaning out the, the brush with thinner or tropenoid Yeah, but it's better if uh, you have an order and you, you use more brushes. Okay, it's just that like sometimes we just want to change. Is uh, for me it's like that. It's, that's why sometimes I add a lot of paint, and sometimes I just go soft. Sometimes I use acrylic. Sometimes I use pastel pencils or charcoal. Uh, see, I mean, there is some. It's just about balance, yes. Since I paint usually a lot of portraits, at least I gotta change uh, the texture or the amount of paint or think maybe the material that I use. Yeah. And I try to draw daily. Sometimes you know that we try. I mean, sometimes it's not possible. Uh, if you don't know, I have a drawing channel. I make a live stream today in my drawing channel, really early before before breakfast. Uh, it wasn't that early, but it was early for me. And maybe I will continue the live stream at night, really late at night. for the people that love drawing I wanna uh, give you the give you the name of the channel here That's my channel in the comments, the drawing channel, okay? And I, I, there wasn't an, an idea to have two channels, and it just like uh, this channel, the, this my drawing channel, it was an idea of my kids because they want me to, they want they eventually they are planning to. My daughter is planning to upload some of uh, her drawings. In, uh, in, ch in that channel uh, but she's no she doesn't feel fully prepared to do that and my son the same they are just that's why they want me to create a channel my drawing channel at the end I'm using the channel myself but uh, you know uh, I have three channels one channel is in Spanish the other channel is in English this one and the drawing channel That happens when you know you don't know about too much about YouTube. Oh, and I have another channel. I started to paint uh, dogs because I love animals. You know, I have a dog, I have a cat, I have a ton, and I'm gonna have a couple of more cats in a few days. I hope so. And. It's just like uh, for me to relax. I'm trying to paint animals, and 
and I thought it was a good idea maybe not to mix everything and I create another channel which I didn't I mean I just painted just three four paintings I didn't do anything more the channel is almost abandoned I don't do more I don't have too much time to paint all I want Let me see, I think that's okay. I think it's ready. Okay. Mm, that's okay, soft here, soft here, you know this is black too, but I didn't do the black, I'm keeping just a little bit uh, lighter, and all, 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 of course it's really dark here, mostly here is really pure black, here's not the black, okay, and okay, the shadow on the nose it should be sharper, the edge here. I don't know if it's going to help or not. I don't like those sharp edges, but in the nose, in this case, maybe it's going to help to make the nose pop forward. You know, if you want to add more color to some area of the face, the nose does where you can add more red, more orangey and make it more sharper the edges because the nose we gotta create the illusion that the nose is pumping forward Checking out here and there. Mm. I had a little bit of red here. this light a little bit up okay that's okay what is oh okay I'm gonna move this
Okay, I think that's it. Yeah. I'm squinting down my eyes and checking the, the checking out the lights. The tones always is about uh, the uh, va va values. Yeah, you know that we spend a lot of time at the end just adjusting values, making some areas darker, lighter. And we gotta go back and forth <coughs> on on that. Right here, I'm making this lighter. Uh, okay. This lighter again. And maybe I will be back here and make it darker. That's part part of the process, okay? Don't feel that you're making a mistake. It's just part of the process. Uh, you gotta be prepared to to go back and forth, retouch and retouch and retouch. And let, let it dry and retouch again. Okay, this highlight is a little bit up. I'm gonna move it. Okay. I think that's the position, no more to the right. Yes. I love the color. Hmm. Maybe more red here, pure red here. it what time is it two three seven let me read the comments Okay, uh, uh, that's it, I think. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Thank you, all of you. 
uh, I don't want to touch more. I mean, I can. I feel sometimes. I, I, you know that. Sometimes we can. We cannot stop. And that's sometimes a problem. We can make things. Uh, we can start making mistakes in instead of fixing. In my case, I know exactly that when I paint more and more and more, I just start to making people look older. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Joyce. Thank you so much, all of you. Thank you so much to my patrons for your support. And if you're new in my channel, uh, thank you. You can subscribe if you like the videos. And if you like the videos them a lot and you wanna support my channel, I mean we paint every Saturday morning here from ten AM to eleven AM. And if you want to buy materials, you can use the links in the description box. And every time that you buy using my links, uh, I mean, you can get into Amazon by using my links and buy whatever you want. And I will get a commission. I mean, usually the commission is really low. It doesn't affect uh, the price. But I mean, you know that I get some money, I get some commission, even cents, but that's perfect. Because this does like a passive income, which is perfect. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Mm. Okay, that's it. Very stop. Very stop.
okay thank you so much bye everybody mm -hmm. like I always said you can go now That's it. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Especially thank you to Joyce that bought this painting in this live stream. Oh, oh, thank you, Joyce. Just saying that she loves she loves the painting. Uh, uh the price the price is the same. You know it's one hundred twenty dollars. The sizes are the same, it's like eight by eight inches and plus twenty dollars for the shipping. Okay, bye, take care.